this video we're going to replace the coolant expansion tank on a Vauxhall Mocha. A fairly simple task which should take no more than half an hour. This one has a slow leak from the fracture on the underside. For this job you're going to need the following. A flat blade screwdriver, a long nose pliers and combination pliers, a 10mm spanner or socket, a jug with a capacity of around one litre and of course a new tank. The observant among you will spot that there is a minor difference between these two tanks. The old one has an overpressure vent which comes out of the side of the filler neck via this hole on the inside. Whereas the new one has a small slot on the inside of the neck and a plastic tube which goes down inside the tank coming out of this hole on the underside here. Before we can remove the tank, we're going to need to disconnect the upper hose and the lower hose. And then we're going to remove the two tank fixings which are hidden underneath this plastic trim panel. The trim panel is held in place with eight of these plastic clips. These clips are a little bit flimsy, so you'll need to be careful not to break them. You'll need to lever the cap up by a few millimetres, which will then release the pressure on the clip below it, allowing you to lever the clip out of the hole. Once you've removed all eight clips, the trim panel can be extracted, and this will reveal the two fixings for the coolant tank. Using a 10mm socket or spanner, loosen and remove these two screws. You will see that the tank is still supported by this bracket. Now to remove the top hose. Using a pair of pliers, squeeze together the ends of the clip, which secures the upper hose to the tank, and move it along the hose until it's clear of the spigot. The hose can now be removed from the spigot. You may need to twist it back and forth a little to encourage it. Now place a suitable receptacle, such as a jug or a bowl, in position under the lower hose connection. This will need to be big enough to catch all of the coolant that's in the tank. I found a one litre jug was just big enough. As with the upper hose, use your pliers to squeeze the clip and move it away from the spigot. Now remove the hose whilst holding the jug to catch the coolant. I had to stop filming at this point as I needed both hands, but you'll get the idea. Now the old tank can be simply lifted from the bracket and removed. Any residual coolant can be decanted into the jug. Take the new tank and slot it onto the bracket. Insert the two screws and tighten them. There's no need to tighten them too much, just enough to hold the tank securely. The lower hose can now be pushed onto the spigot, making sure it goes all the way on. And the upper hose likewise. Using the pliers, squeeze the clips and wiggle them back into their original positions over the spigots. And that's basically it. The new tank is fitted.
now you can refit the plastic trim panel. Remember to insert the front edge of it underneath the top of the grille. Refit the eight retaining clips that you previously removed. Once each clip is in place, simply press down the cap to secure it. If the coolant that you drained from the old tank is in good condition, you can use this to refill the new tank. Make sure that the coolant is all the way up to the fill line on the side of the tank. Don't forget to transfer the cap from the old tank to the new one and make sure it's fully tightened. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.